Hello, welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events recording this Friday, October the 26th at about 7.20 in the morning. A lot on our table. First of all, I'm going to have to look, but I think that we're going to fall just short of a record high. Uh, there's a lot to talk about over the next seven days, including Halloween, Race for the Cure, but this weekend is going to be fantastic, especially, especially Saturday. Now, Sunday, if you thought the warm weather was over with, Remember I said we may not be done with the 80s yet? Well, all the data now pointing towards temperature highs near 80 degrees coming up on Sunday. I think the record's in the mid 80s, but we're gonna be, it's amazing. We go from one extreme to another, well that's Arkansas, right? From these near record lows now to near record highs, but the near record high on uh, Sunday isn't gonna last long. It's just gonna be one day of warmth and then it cools back down on Monday, warms back up on Tuesday. We'll have to see how far the uh, temperatures get out of hand on Tuesday. And then you got Halloween. And that's the purpose of this blog post is to talk about Halloween and Race for the Cure. Uh, I'm going to look at the two main computer models, GFS and the European computer model, and uh, compare the two with the timing of that. And don't forget, by the way, daylight saving time ends, daylight saving time ends a week from uh, Saturday night. Also, here on the Arkansas Weather Blog, KTV.com. Uh, and on Channel 7, coming up, you know, I always wait for temperatures now that get down to 29 degrees or colder so I can make snow. Uh, I'm teaming up once again. The wheels are in motion. It's all coming together uh, for another big snow contest. We're going to give away, hopefully, again, all the details have not been ironed out. So I can't, I, I probably shouldn't be talking about this, but. Uh, until everything is, is finalized. Uh, but we're hoping to have another snow contest where you can win a snowmaker. And it's going to be different than last year. Uh, how you enter, it's going to be different. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be completely different. And it's one where you're going to be able to participate and have a lot of fun doing it and uh, involve your kids. Of course, you have to be 18 or older. Uh, but par So parents are going to need to get involved. It's, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, more on that a little bit later on. Uh, the fine folks over at Snow at Home and Fuller and Son, Jeff Fuller. When I talked to Jeff Fuller about it, he's I'm on board. So Fuller and Son, fantastic. Thank you very much for them. I'm getting my morning cup of Java. All right, where shall we start? Well, since it's up, we'll go ahead with the ECMWF Euro. Black lines, ice bars, lines of equal barometric pressure. So what in the world are you looking at? Well, this is next. Tuesday at seven o'clock, you see that's an area of high pressure. Here's an area of low pressure. That's 1,004 millibars, that's 1,020 millibars. So that's low pressure, that's high pressure. There's the front extending out from it. You see the blobs, I explained this yesterday and I've explained it before in the past where those blobs represent rain over the previous, or precipitation, over the previous six hours. Thickness lines are overlaid. Blue one is the 540 thickness line, usually a fairly good indicator of where the rain snow line is. We're not gonna have snow. But um, you know, where, where you see that blue line sag south, that's where you know you have what's called CAA, cold air advection. Uh, you, you, you know that you're, you've got some cold air coming in. Where you see it getting moved up towards the north, that's where you have warm air advection, WAA. So you can obviously see here, there's the front right here with high pressure here in the clockwise flow. You're getting warm air coming up. This is next Tuesday. Like I said, after Sunday, there's another warm day Tuesday. Well, that's it. It's ahead of the front. And then behind that low, you see how that 540 line thickness line bends down because you're getting cold air coming in on the back side. Okay. <sighs> Wednesday morning. All right. So let's step through the times here. The front is coming into the state. And you're talking about the time period, again, Wednesday, Halloween, from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m., on Halloween, rain. This is the time period 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Rain. Now this is interesting. So it has the, uh, the front through and waves the low pressure along that front with the time period here 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. on the European. The heavier, steadier rain is off towards the east now. During the afternoon, it shifts east. So it's a little faster. Notice that cold air starts pouring in behind it. See how that 540 thickness line bends down? But you have these grays here. So you're dealing with some light rain, some drizzle, 
sort of like what we would have what we had yesterday, sort of something like that, according to this one run of the model. But then for the period 7 p.m. on Halloween to 1 a.m. on November the 1st, it shifts east. So the European computer model has a rainy Halloween, but it may be out by trick-or-treat time. Oh, let's go back to the European. Let's go ahead, race for the cure. Remember how I say it never it never rains on race for the cure. That's Friday. See, you can you can see there's a I'm sorry. There's a weak there's not a weak wave, but there's a wave in the front coming through uh, on the back side here, and it's leading the charge to some very chilly air. So this is Friday night, according to the European, showing rain. This is showing. I don't know if I want to say. You see that 540 line is? Uh, I'm not buying this completely. The surface low, this is, again, this is during the race. The surface low is out here in Alabama with a trailing cold front. And it is cold and it is windy. And has some precipitation on the back side of it. Probably rain. But anyway, I've been back home in Arkansas since... 2005 and once we started covering this race every single Saturday now granted it was in October this for this year's in November every single race has been dry it's not scientific but I would say that chances are better that it's going to be dry just based on history and wish casting but this is cold folks it's going to be cold all right, so let's go to the GFS. Let's step you through the GFS. This is, I saved the worst for last. Uh, just the worst computer model for last. So Wednesday morning, again, let's take a look. This is next Wednesday, Halloween from 7 a.m. Let's go 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Front through the state. It's, of course, blowing up to be some huge rainmaker, which, you know, it could be. Uh, but, of course, GFS doing what it does. Wave of low pressure developing along that frontal boundary out towards our west. Sort of what it was doing yesterday. So this is 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. rain. And it's just, I mean, it is just rain, rain, and rain. So what the GFS is doing, it's developing a wave. And if you looked at 500 millibars, you'd probably see some energy hanging back and developing this wave of low pressure. So uh, there's the wave of low pressure right here. And it's keeping rain around all throughout Halloween, especially the second half of the day. Where the the European doesn't develop such a strong wave it's, and allows the front to move off more towards the east. So what happens after that? Again, that's what I'm saying. There's there, there, The timing of this and how this all unfolds, we know there's a front coming through. Does it get held up? Does it move through? How progressive is that frontal boundary moving through? So these are things that just can't be answered just yet. All right. So here's the... Uh, GFS, which has the cold air coming in. This is Saturday morning. Right, let me go one, uh, one more stage here. So this is Saturday morning. It's cold, but dry. All right. So I hope all that made sense. I didn't just bloviate too long there. I know it's probably about 10 minutes long, but then I want to thank you very much for making the Arkansas Weather Blog what it is. Uh, so to recap everything, we've got an uh, incredible weekend. Temperatures, maybe close to 80 degrees Sunday, a little bit cooler Monday, a little bit warmer Tuesday. Rain timing, rain on Wednesday timing, still questionable. And then a batch of cold air by the end of next week to kick off November. Channel 7 News, we'll keep you updated. Thanks for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.